Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Wixie Pop, and today we're gonna be playing Wenba. Wenba is a narrative cooking game where you play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family in the 1980s. The game is about the role that food plays in connecting different generations. We cook various dishes, restore lost recipes, have meaningful conversations, and explore this story about family, love, loss. Needless to say, it's gonna make you wanna call your mom up. I'm Indian, so I relate to the culture and experiences a tiny bit more. Let's dive right in. Um, I've been wanting to try this game for a while now and this is the first time I actually got around to playing it and uh, I thought I'd record it and I don't know post my first YouTube on video I mean post my first video on it never mind let's go I'm so excited I really like the art style of this game and think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action i don't know what ruminate means let's actually look it up oh never mind leaving already are you sorry did i wake you what time is it eight how are you feeling uh tired just like yesterday uh okay i'll call your school and say you can't come in today i was just about to leave for work you should go back to sleep what about your lunch? There's some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idli is very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba, don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. I swear to God. I know, right? Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. When, but really, it's fine. No, no, no. I know, right? I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Dude, steaming at least is like easy. I think. I've never done it myself, to be honest, but... Uh, just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. I know, right? Same girly. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? You should. The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Oh my god. This is really South Indian. The background music. The the entire game. And it makes sense actually. It's completely based on South Indian culture and South Indian food. Tools. Idli plate, towel, cooker. Okay. Water batter. Holes to let steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. 
make sure to what i didn't read it The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes the idlis a lot softer. Who knows, maybe I'll learn how to cook. Because of this, my mom would be really happy. So it needs water, okay. I put water. <sighs> Idlis are a breakfast staple. They ask so little of you, but they give you so much back. Simply grind rice and some fermented lentils for that cloudy batter. And steam it to make these fluffy soft cakes. Ah, oh, anyone can make it. It's so easy. Except for my husband, I guess. Ooh, her mom wrote these. Although I've never made it with my mom, mom, mother's cooker. So this might be a challenge. Yeah. No. I need to put this here. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I don't understand. Breakfast staple. Hmm. Steam it to make these. Never mind. These have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to this or it will leak. Holes to let steam through. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Ooh. All right. That makes a lot of sense. Cool. And when I put this. No, wait. Okay, okay. Here, I can see it. No, I just want to move. Ah, this doesn't make... I, I just want to move one play, bro. They will always move together. I need to put these holes above this idli. Okay. Let's do this again. This is default, right? So I'll make this so that... Okay. This should work. Yes. That's perfect. Amazing. Now what? What to do with the towel, bro? I already put water. Oh, okay, needed more water. Stack all three. Oh, my bad. So stack this like the holes are in center again. I think this should do it. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. What the fuck do you do with the towel then? Okay, I guess. That should be long enough. Did you knock? Oh, come in. Did you make something? I am gonna make something that's rep. 
Yeah, no, no, I know. Uh, comes in the morning, he also takes it very untidy and kal do pehar na aayega ke like we have to. Uh, um, so Atharva is coming right now, and we're planning to cook. So that's why I made some meal prep. Achha, achha, achha. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll wash whatever I use. Achha. Yeah. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Let's hope I didn't fail at this. I failed. Why? How? Why? I am so upset. Oh my god, how am I not perfect at this game? That I don't know how. It, what? Bro. Of course, I'll get mad at myself for. Was that wrong? Maybe I need to. I am so confused. First you put the water in. Then you put a towel on this. And you... Alright, oh, my bad, my bad. And then you put this in. And then you twist it so that this is in the middle. And then you put another. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm fucking everything up. Okay. You put this. And then you move this so that this is in the middle. And you put another towel. And you put this here. And then you put it on top. And that way all the idli should be steamed. Okay, let's try it. Please be good. Please. Oh my god, I did it. I'm I'm so good at this game. Let's go. Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard though. <laughs> You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out idlis. Oh, that's the ha- Oh, my bad. When Bai told you to go to sleep. But then why is she going to school? I am so lost. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. Maybe she's a teacher. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pawalan. That's probably his name. Or maybe like a endear, endearing thing you call someone. <laughs> You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for the tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, a oh, house so she works in the school, my bad. Or my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. Ah, I see. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Really? I didn't know that.
Renba, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we stop packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. But I think you should eat first. Are they expecting a baby? Okay. It leaves again? Ah. What has gotten into you today? I even I don't understand what she's saying, bro. Oh. She's pregnant, yeah. That's actually so cute. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best op option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. You just need to teach them to be grateful. I, I guess. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalon, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? <clears throat> I'm sorry for coughing so much. I have a lot of cough. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. That is adorable. My name is Pavel Ansar. <coughs> Pavel Ansar. Kevin, Kevin. Where'd you run off to? So it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kevin. Or Kevin. I really don't know how to pronounce that. I have a lot of work to do. Or Govin. Yes, sir. I manage transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, are you there? What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir. But Kevin, wait there. Don't run. He's going to be mad. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. That is such a good degree to be wasting on managing inventory. I don't get it. Hey, you, the towel is so dirty, da. Here, wear this shirt, Kana. No. <laughs> but, sir, you can just take me on a probation, probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kanna. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. I understand. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds uh, units of inventory story. It's time for it to go. 
This one entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Ah, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. No, with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Calvin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay, we can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking Tamil da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. Names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Coven means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. Okay, just Kevin. Jesus. I don't like children. He's brighter than us, Venba. Is he? Is he? He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know that he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate Daka now. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Can we order pizza? Oh my god, this kid, bro. Speaking of Tamil, Kevin, I want pizza. How about something better? Like parota. Dosa? Idiapam? Ghee dosa? Biryani? Ari dosa? No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had puttu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. <laughs> She's smart. Will it really look like a rocket launch? <clears throat> Do you want to see? That's very cute. I'm actually tired of reading all the dialogues. My throat hurts, but it's okay. All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the floor first, though. Ingredients, 500 gram rice water, blend the rice, huh. rice and water, blend the rice and water, separate fine rice from chunks, very nice, combine, can I still read it over, no, combine 500 gram of fine rice with water. I think I'm doing it right. Adding flour to the rice is the final step. Flour to the rice. What? No, you need to. It's a bit chunky, isn't it? But two floors should feel like slightly wet sand. Let's try again. Ooh. Huh? Oh my god. We must have added less than... Oh yeah, I, I think I dropped like a lot of the rice. Do 
Why is it falling down? That's again too less. I'm gonna cry. Um, I don't know why this is not working. Okay. Five hundred gram in rice. First, blend the rice. Second, separate fine rice from chunks. Then put it in water. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we need to do, honestly. God, I'm gonna cry. What else do we need to do? It's falling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Okay. We. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I kind of sort of understand what to do now. Okay, I figured out what the last part was. You do this, but it's too little, right? So you pop this back into the blender and then you stir it again. And then you get it here, and then you sieve it again, and... Oh my god, I'm so... How many times? Until there's nothing left. Oh my god, yeah, this is perfect. Yes! Why does this feel like floor even though there is so much water? We have to mix the water and floor little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. I'm so smart. Alright, no, not really. I failed so many times. Amma, when will we get to the rock here? Uh huh. This is so confusing. Are you serious? Most of it has been teared off. Assemble the pot so that the water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order a coconut can crumble easily. I don't understand. This is very complex. Three tablespoon. Flour and coconut. There should be water down there. We want this, we want coconut, coconut, this, coconut, coconut, 
this yeah so flower coconut coconut flower coconut coconut flower let's try that flower coconut coconut flower coconut coconut flower let's cover it put it why aren't you connecting stupid bitch it's launch time kevin i'm so sad i think coconut layers make you crumble book says to keep coconut layers as far apart as possible okay then whatever i did was kaulta the opposite of that um so we need coconut then we need two of these then coconut and then two of these and then coconut and that should be perfect it's lunch time let's go it's done that was so cool venba i can't believe it didn't fall Amma, can we do that again no i don't want to do it again just eat it bro i'm tired ah we're unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time Is he asleep? I think so. Alvin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview... Another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like it deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about who you know here. And we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I know moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kavan on Putta today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Calvin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Calvin? I just feel like there is a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very live, the very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Coven. What do you, how do you mean? What if I can't connect with Coven? It feels like he's going away from us. The other day he told me he wished he had a room, his own room, like his friends. He said he needs privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it or if he's embarrassed. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here, and he does. 
this place comes with better education and opportunities but it also comes with its own culture language values we can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others i think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in right yes maybe it's just scary don't worry venba he'll turn out just fine how are you so sure he's our child how else will he turn out Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Hmm. Very menacing looking thing. Go on, tell her. His name is Pavalon. He's my dad. P A A V A L A N she says appa is not at the office does she know what time he left do you know when my dad left the office why is it colored like that okay well does she know at least know if he came in today did you see my dad today ask her if she if he uses usual oh i can't read ask her if he usually leaves with anybody Maybe we can call them. Go home with someone? She says, no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says, all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She said he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. I'm actually scared. Like, I'm actually scared, bro. It's Canada. It's safe, right? I mean, I'm sure he's fine. Madam, with that speed, you're never going to find him. Why are we walking through the park, Amma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left fire at 5. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went, went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kanna. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay. Okay, I can do that. He probably said that in Tamil. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can't speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes something. Writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. Mm. So how did you and Appa meet? Mm. You know I'm named after a poem, right? Yes, Appa told me a venba is a kind, is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly no proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay so we organized a protest we had signs and boards and dozens of people one day we were told a, a reporter wanted to interview us we thought this was a big break but he was the shabbiest person i had ever seen 
He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a poem? It was a venba. A gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protest. And it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they could not ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. That's so beautiful. That's actually so nice. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a very heartwarming story. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Pavalan wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start and took it. I see Appa. She's so worried. Is he okay? No. Avalon. That is not what his name is. Is he drunk? Ah, uh, he's smoking a cigarette. What happened? Why is he hurt? Ah, uh, he's finally rewriting because something happened. Because he's upset about something. And writing is the only way he can stop being suffocated. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Oh, he grew up. Venba is old. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. Did he never actually get his specs repaired? It's been so many years. Maybe it's like a memory thing that, you know, this crack is what, you know, got me back into writing. I don't know. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help help Kevin back. She's sad about him leaving for college. This looks nice. Bruh, are you serious? Biryani gravy. Okay, this recipe is completely under you, but I know, right? Leard biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before, but I've seen Amma make it the night before we left f India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Okay, so spices and then the beef. Then add water and let it reduce. Cool. Uh, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. That's unreadable now. Okay. 
than this there's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in you want all of them to fry in the oil nicely but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the uh, ones you add next so if i want onions to turn golden brown they need to be fried the most and remember once you add tomatoes they release so much hot water it's hard for anything to fry after i actually understand all this because i have because i'm i'm an indian and because i have made indian cuisine with my mom and she taught me how to make indian recipes so i feel like let's just read like let's just go through all this remember add all these first these ingredients so expensive Amma, why are you going through all this trouble it's okay d it's a big thing to leave to another country i don't know when i'll be able to cook for you again okay that is cloves and those and the big leaf i don't know what to call all this cool so we need to add bay leaves cardamom these maybe these yes you would lose your mind over these prices i know right onions I don't know what to add next. Then we want chilies. Then we want tomatoes. So that it stops getting burnt. Then we want some salt. Ah, oh my god. Cool. Yeah, the spice. I'm actually scared because it'll burn. Onions. Actually, let me restart again. Ginger garlic paste first. Then we put onions in. Then put some salt in so that it gets cooked quicker. I mean, that's what my mom used to say. And we put some chilies. No, what do you mean? I don't like this game. That is marinated beef, not that. Mmm ginger garlic paste this okay let me add some salt then we add chili powder oh my god okay i need to go through it again there's a the logic to the order you add these four ingredients in okay you want all of them to fry in the oil nicely but the ingredients you add first will always fry more th in the oil than the one you add next so if i want onions to turn golden brown they need to be fried the most and remember once you add tomatoes they release so much water it's hard to fry anything after okay makes sense so you need onions then you put this or this let me just put this then you put these. And then wait, just wait for a little bit. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add these. Of course the tomatoes go in last. You weren't through a lot of you went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Amma. I'm sorry I couldn't bake take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these, if he ever does. And the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders that order is important then add water and let it reduce how am i going to remember okay fine then we want some salt turmeric biryani powder chili powder then we add the beef marinated beef then we add water I made it! I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Coven leaves. It looks
looks so nice. All of this. The art style is just... It's so beautiful. Ingredients are gone. Everything is gone. <laughs> Layered biryani. Once done, let it sit in slow fl low flame for 30 minutes. Is it salvageable? Everything in the pot, seal it tightly and then simmer together. The one to three, four ref might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, I see. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often. And once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kanna. It's just so far away. Saffron milk, mint, fried onion, cilantro, ghee, cashews, rice. Let me put the rice. Let me put the mint. I think it's in no specific order. What do you... Okay. Oh, it's multiple. I need to do this all over again. So, I think I'll first put some ghee, then we put some rice. all of it fried onions cilantro we want to put the rice again cashews i know it's not the right sequence or fried onions this 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 and then this, and saffron milk, and then this again. Oh my god, I'm so confused. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. One might be the gravy. Ooh, let's go. Okay, one might be the gravy, that is the base. Two is the rice, and then more gravy, and then rice, and then all the... Okay, got her, got her, got her. So, this. Then we add the mint. This, 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 this. No, I'm so dumb. We take some gravy out. It's one, then rice is two, and then... And then it's one again. And then it's two. And then you just throw everything in the pot. Yes, I know, right? I think this is right. See, I was correct. It looks so bad. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, I think this is it. You just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. Should be good now. It still looks bad, bro. I'm sorry. It still doesn't look cooked. It's supposed to look nice. But as long as it smells amazing, it's okay. How is it? Oh, so good. <laughs> Why is she angry, dude? Beef really is the best. Oh, it's really good, Amma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this. Ah, oh, Amma, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Karna, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? 
it's a long drive we might have to get gas on the way oh as it turns out my friends are driving there today after all so i'll be going with them oh why would you do that she's so sad now oh this way you and appa won't have to drive all day We wanted to see the university. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. It's just a bunch of gray buildings. Okay, Kana, sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? Oh my god, I don't understand why men are so emotionally handicapped. <laughs> Like, they're talking about a serious discussion where he's going to college with his friends and his parents don't even get to drive him and they're going to miss him so much. And this dude is like, did I even get any of the meat pieces? Like, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Uh, maybe we can drive there next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some poris, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? Bro, you... Oh, you're gonna get a slap from your wife. Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? That is so mean. I feel bad now. Every time my mom asks me, do you want laddus or anything? I can send. And then I'm like, no, no, I don't really like eating sweet. And my, mom. my mom's heart must be broken. I'm so sad. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. Bruh. He's just like me, for real. Yeah, let him let him have instant coffee and instant noodles and he'll be happy, it's fine. I can't believe she gave him all the meat pieces. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this bro. <laughs> I'm just eating kuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't even have to eat it. I said, no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. I just want to be normal for once. Kana, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for everyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that is a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. Ouch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never gonna see me again. I'll visit often, okay? That's what they said to their parents when they moved to Canada. Okay. And I'll call every week too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. <laughs> he gets it. Chip of the old block. There he goes. To college. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices, even if they're so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. 
whatever he chooses, at least it will be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Aw, that is so cute. Oh. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh, did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yeah. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just le let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavalan. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? <laughs> oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Coven? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Coven says he wants said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt even he remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to run his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in a way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Coven to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger go is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Coven, and I have you. Home is where you two are. This movie does... Wait. It's not a movie. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Is that Coven? No. That's his dad, right? I don't know. May or maybe it's... I don't know. Mm. Have things... Are things better now? What happened? Maybe it's a festival. 
Yeah, uh, maybe he's coming home and she's gonna make something for him. Oh, we're making chakris? I don't know what these are. When I was a kid, my mom used to make something like this from like a gun thing. Not You didn't have to like rotate it. You had to like press the trigger of the gun. And then you had to fry it and they, they were called chakris. They looked a lot like this and it was super crispy and they were made with like a different kind of flour. Flour, whatever. Since this is going to be my first YouTube video, I think it's so apt for me to be playing this game because like it's a South Indian game. What? It's it's perfect. Okay, we're putting key in them all. Is that ghee? It has to be ghee because it's melting. So ghee is like butter, but somewhat different. I don't really know the difference. We're making something that looks like idli, but it's not steamed. It's shallow fried, I think, in, in ghee. Oh, it tells me which one is done. Oh, th that looks so amazing, though. This game makes me want to eat Indian food. Or more specifically, South Indian food. Recently, I went on a trip to like South India and I covered some very beautiful places in South India. And yeah, it was insane. I don't really eat seafood, but the fish is smiling. I feel really bad cutting it. But hey, maybe it'll look more appetizing after we're done with it. That's a lot of spices. It's literally red. That looks so spicy. I'm so scared. I don't want to eat it. But it's so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. South Indians also have a culture, the culture of uh, eating on banana leaves. Almost everything, like um, like from dosas to rice to idlis, everything is basically they eat it on rice. Oh, the, the, that might be black pepper or something. I don't know a lot about cooking myself. Red chilies. What this is, is... Um, well, where, from where I come from, this is called a vaghar. Uh, you can also call it like a tadka, basically. You put this on any kind of curry, yeah, see? You put this on any kind of curry and it adds that extra bit of like flavor and you know, it just tastes really nice, a tadka.
And we made rice, I guess. Oh, that's not rice. Is that some kind of curry? Yeah, it is some kind of curry, but like... Well, this is this section is not as difficult as like all the other parts, like the other previous parts of the game. Because I feel like we're like, we have to like make a lot of food before he comes, you know, from college or something. Or maybe today is graduation day. Oh, that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> it looks so nice. This game makes me hungry. That looks insane. Insanely appetizing. If the kid comes home and disrespects the food, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be very visibly angry. Oh my god, did he not come home? Did he just... <sighs> All that food. Uh, sure, Ma, I have a lot of plans to, I think, stop for a later bit tonight. For a bit later tonight. Oh, okay. Do I need to click it? What do I need to do? Oh, scroll. Super. Sorry, Emma. Something came up last minute and I can't... <sighs> Call him. Go ham. Burn his house down. Oh my god, I'm so upset. I'm so heartbroken. She did so much. Where is the husband? Where is Babylon? All those utensils. This really shows how Indian moms... Has he... Is he... Is he not there anymore? Has he passed away? Please don't tell me he had, Please don't say that. She got it now. <sighs> Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet. That was very quick. I could not read that. Bachelor of Arts. I don't even want to look at his face right now. Or are we supposed to? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. By the way, for the school lunch scene, I was thinking I'd be cool if 
it were like a super diverse <clears throat> table of kids and all their shared food i can't read different cultures what do you think priya's lunch should be chicken tikka spicy vindaloo maybe well priya is tamil so probably none of those what if we show her eating nothing that's mean like i would bring back my lunch a lot lol i was too embarrassed to eat it at school maybe we can touch upon that that might not fit the tone of the show it's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represent toronto you must have a favorite dish of your mom made or something right it just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even wait chill wait no let me read it let me read it no ah. you can read it youtube frogs because you can pause it yeah i'll check my mother's recipe book dude 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 i'm so angry i will check it but i want to see it right now wait i'm going to google it real quick i'm going to google it real quick what did calvin type and delete venba it's not there anywhere um You guys are lucky because you get to see this. Can I go back? No, I can't. Whatever. Kind of really, really upsetting. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Bro, she left to India. Why would she need a recipe book over there? Wow, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh, idlis. This is puttu. Oh, I remember making this with Amma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani of course, Appa's favorite. Nattu cozy kolambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around 5 then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what that was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful! She's drawn cute pictures in of the ingredients needed. I think this game touches upon a lot of. I think the designer of this I mean the studio is definitely called Annapurna Interactive but it is a studio based in America and I feel like the person who was the designer for this or the person who did the storyboarding for this game definitely has to be Indian or has to know about a lot of about the way Indian cultures behave because this is exactly how Indian mothers show love they make 
all these authentic recipes and all these kind of food items that is how they say that we love you that is how they say we care for you that we're sorry you know for for anything wrong that we might have done because it's really difficult for them to talk about you know problems or you know because they were never taught like us to like okay if there's a problem communicate you know like they if they think that they did something and they're guilty about it they would like make food for us at least that's how my mom has always dealt with things and once you leave home like i have currently left my home and i live alone somewhere right and i miss her food so much i don't feel like the flavor that she you know has when like she makes indian cooking indian food i don't find that flavor anywhere and i feel like that is true for everyone's home like you know you will always like your own mom's dal rice dal rice is a staple food that we eat here every day but yeah it's so the reason it is so like relatable and heart wrenching to play this game for me is because of how true it is of how we see it happening every single day i cannot take kavin's side and i cannot take the mom's side like i have to be in the between because i am at that point in the generation where i understand both of their point of views i understand bullying i understand how important it it feels to make friends at school when you're a kid and how easy it is to just you know be mean to your parents and do things and say things that might hurt their feelings you know but at the same time i do understand venba's point of view you know that you know she does so much for her family for her son and all 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 to see him you know become like a canadian cultured person even though they're from you know south india but that's what i wanted to say anyway let's proceed i'll go pick those up first and then i can start putting it together great So I don't understand that now. I feel like if a Tamil person would be playing this, this would be so easy. But there is this, this. Okay, can't really read this, but thankfully there is a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind paste with this, with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay, I feel like we put tamarind. Oh, the water really changed color. I could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. You need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. That is easy. We're just making tamarind water. How many times do we need to do this though? The water isn't really changing color that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. That's, much, that's as much as I'm going to get, I think. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. Oh, that's a lot. nope nothing okay well there's no diagrams in this one my tamil isn't the most fluent so i might not be able to translate this fully but maybe i can do it step by step i think i can make out a few of these words toast both of the grains first nice just have to figure out the missing parts and we can go step by step 
Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Rasam powder. Mustard seeds. That is green. Uh, tomatoes, salt, garlic and ginger, tomatoes, shallots, curry leaves, cumin. Hmm. Chilies. Rasam powder. Probably a wrong idea. Were both the things I added grains? What else could it be? Okay, that was wrong. I think I need mustard seeds and cumin. Ah, it's seeds, not grains. Yes, because the basics of Indian cooking that I know is first you put these ingredients. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound though. How is it already smelling this good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. I think it means green leaves and red chilies. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced shallots and crushed ginger garlic. This smells so good. It's usually around this time Amma has me waving all away all the steam from the smoke detector. Hmm, what gives out water? First add that, that creates water, and then add water itself. It has to be tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Tomatoes uh, ha remove a lot of water, and that slows down the speed of these cooking so it doesn't get burned. So you add it at the last. Yeah, seems to release a lot of water, and then you need to add water. That's what the tamarind water is for. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left, so add this and this to taste. Add rasam, and it's usually always salt to taste. This smell is really taking me back. Amma was upset because of the phone call she got from home. I think I remember now. Flashback. What's going on? I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. Oh, it's her mom. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be a fuse this way. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Are, are we sure? Bone and chicken, salt, and... Pechi. Oh, that's tamarind or turmeric. I, I didn't really read. I think it's turmeric. Turn this on after I get everything in. But we got everything in. Oh. Nice. We're making some chicken, boys. I don't know why I did that. I have no idea why I said that. But yeah. What happened? I should keep going. He's having flashbacks. Whoa, that looks fantastic. 
chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to sell, start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. <laughs> He's so right. He is so true for that one. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rasam is always, is usually water, but here it is fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on the chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. They should have Indian somewhere. Indian spices and aromatics. Gross. What the fuck do you mean gross? You're gross. Ah, that looks great, Amma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. He can't stop slurping. Flashback time. Amma? <clears throat> Amma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Why is half of her back uh, deleted? Like, it's mixing in with the... Oh no, that's her... That's, that's the way she is. Never mind. I did not say anything. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh no, Kanna, not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother... Amma loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Amma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone, everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Amma. <clears throat> or Appa. That's so sweet of him to say. And then he left him for college. Any recipe updates? The PFP is so cute. Call her. Do it. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Visai. I've heard that somewhere. Visai game studio or something. Oh, she's teaching him how to make a dosa? That is so nice. Yeah, I told you, I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Coven, listen. It's all about temperature control with dosa. First, pour the water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you. Another disaster coming up. That was not funny. I'm sorry. But this is easy because I know how to make rotis. This is easy on screen. But you really have to see how much pressure you put on the dosa itself. Mm. 
nice and crispy that looks very nice but we did use a lot of oil we don't really prefer to use a lot of oil oh my god i did it i know right good job ready to try something harder are you ready to try utapam now the dosa will be thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables i've eaten utapam it tastes very good my mom makes a lot of utapam this is like the pizza one right with all the toppings <laughs> yes not really though this is a super healthy version of pizza if you might say so so this one you don't have to like make it very thin it's thick like you'll see how thick it is see okay now the toppings do i have to add all of them actually you can just add whatever you like everyone's utapam is different just make sure to add ghee first okay let's add some ghee i actually put i love onions and utapam don't like carrots though i'll put some green chilies put some idli powder and that's it we let it cook for some time and then we flip it oh no ah uh, if this happens it means the batter hasn't cooked well enough yet usually that means you forgot to turn up the stove or you forgot to add ghee or oil i want to cry you add ghee you turn up the stove you put onions chilies and this i don't like carrots in my f you know cooked food nice it looks amazing that should be done i think i'm getting the hang of this see i told you it's easy i feel like most of the time more than cooking it is the bringing of ingredients that takes like an insane amount of time i haven't made this in a while this was your appa's favorite curry dosa is dosa with minced meat yes exactly we're doing it with mutton here but you can do it with chicken beef or whatever you like oh no i forgot to turn the heat down i'm an idiot it's gonna be harder and yeah see let me try that again this is much nicer i think yes Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. Like utapam, you want to add ghee first, then add the beaten eggs as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish it with coriander. You add ghee first, then you add beaten eggs, then you add curry topping, then you put the coriander. And you turn up the gas and you let it cook okay think it's done looks so nice though i'm so hungry right now i want to eat dinner but it's like 7 35 pm like who eats this quickly another one down this is fun yes it really is you're doing great coven you can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back i know right i could probably run the best one the broken spectacles say so much his dad has broken spectacles as well 
If there were restaurants that can serve dosas like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? I came here for more than dosas, Kevin. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do it this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. Oh, they made so much food. I'm so hungry. Amma? I have something to show you. This is Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Kavin. Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Amma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I couldn't write what they wanted. I felt like a fraud. I couldn't write what they wanted. I can't just write about dosas, saris, and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. And sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it's convenient for me. When there's a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way. It's true, Amma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I slept, finally. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. It's so sad. I'm not crying. You are. I'm not crying. No, I'm seriously not crying. It's not why I came here, Coven. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me. And even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavalan... Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids have, has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Amma. How long are you staying for? Don't know, Amma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kanna. But this is really nice. It was so nice. It's over. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. 
I did not cry, by the way. It was so good. I'm going to see the entire uh, credits. Also, there's a lot of credits that have Indian people. Music composer Alpha something. That was funny. I have no words. This was insane. How can a two hour or one hour game how can a two hour or one hour game fit this much emotion, this much detail, this much culture? I love games like these because they, they, you know, they remind me why games are a medium to 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 tell stories anyway i will be ending this here and i will be seeing you in the next video that i make this is my first youtube video so be kind and tell me how i did in the comments and suggest me other games that you would want me to play so thank you bye bye